And with the power of editing, you saw a couple of bam boom and yeah, they are gone. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Asi Only Blue and oh boy, it feels so good to be back. I was bored out of my mind for about 10 to 11 days, uh, literally sitting in the darkness because of my operation. Now I have these glasses, which I'm going to be wearing uh, for a few days to kind of like uh, help me out with the monitors and the lights and all of that. But if you haven't seen my previous video where I talk about the operation and all of that, go watch it. Um, new glasses are on the way. Uh, from a company that makes photophobia uh, glasses, which I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear them and show them to you guys and uh, let you know what I think. For the first time in three years that I've been creating content, or I was a content creator, I've never actually made an exclusive uh, gameplay YouTube series. So for the first time, I wanted to go a little bit out of my comfort zone because when I was streaming, that was my comfort zone. I had my chat, I have the people to talk to and all of that, you know. It's a different vibe than creating uh, YouTube videos. So, again, for the first time, we're gonna, we're gonna play some uh, video games and uh, this time is gonna be Satisfactory. We're gonna begin with Satisfactory, episode 1. Um, new world, new everything. Uh, if you wanna know some more shit, uh, I haven't played any. I haven't. I have. I haven't really went more than like tier three, four. I played a little bit with tier three, four. So I'm not a hundred percent new to the game. I'm a little bit new to the game. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm probably gonna do a lot of dumb things. I'm gonna curse a lot, and uh, let's just go to satisfactory. All right, we are ready to roll. Um, for my map, I've decided to go grass fields because it's the one that makes more sense to me. Um, it, it has like a, a little bit more more like flat area, which is you know it's not gonna make building take for like ever. I think it's gonna be just better. Um, as a section name, we gotta we gotta name this right. Um, okay, so blue. Uh Okay, okay, no, I, I don't want to just, no, Blue is the best uh, YouTuber of all times, and I love, oh, I can go, I love him until I die, and Corona is gonna kill me, and, you, okay, I can keep going, uh, with me and you, and you, yes. That's our, that's our title, apparently, we can go as big as we, as we want to, alright, um, I didn't want to take too long to <laughs> put a name on it, god damn it. Ah, by the way, we're playing the experimental version. Ew. Oh yeah, I was supposed to skip, like, the tutorial, it's fine, it's fine, you guys gonna see it as well. I've seen this before. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exo But I, I don't remember anything. Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Do we do we want to watch it? Chart the planet Chat. and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. The animations are pretty cool, actually. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention the last time the... Oh my goodness. Hopefully that's not too loud to you. I gotta check that out. Oh. Oh, he's, oh, he's booming.
Okay. Hopefully this is not extremely loud. Anyways, I'm gonna balance the audio. Don't worry about it. But holy shit, the cinematic is loud. Planetfall complete. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit right. is at 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are over here, man. Over here, man. I'm still trying to figure it out. What the hell is that? It's loud. Welcome though. to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, Ada. tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. Hello, Ada. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Yay! All right. Note: Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Good to see you, darling. Ada, huh? What is that? Uh, First objective. Yeah. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. The hub. Uh, by Note. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. I don't want to waste as well. Uh, but deconstructing that allows us to build. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving Got the drop zone. Got it. Don't touch Note, it, you idiot. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Uh huh. Oh, she's keep talking. All right, just, just keep going. Third objective: Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Oh yeah, the scanner. I'll have a key by. Note: The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Uh oh, 200, 356, and 300. So, uh, we're gonna attempt. I think it's randomly generated. Every word that you open is not the same, and the notes that you have around are not the same. I think so, okay? I'm not 100% sure. There's an enemy down there. Um, so, using the scanner will allow us to find ores around. Uh, we're gonna try to find a place uh, that has few of them next to each other. Let's go check this one. It's 190 meters away. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be uh, very good. I see one... I see a couple of them. Is there one down there? Okay. Um, by the way, FPS issues or stuttering. I've uh, been having them a lot. I tried to experiment a little bit with my graphics and all of that. But I didn't actually find a way to uh, completely reduce or minimize the This is the one of multiple edibles lags. we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. Okay, this is just a food that you can use and heal yourself. So, yeah, um, I've, I've minimized a little bit the... Uh, the performance issues that I had, but every now and then you're gonna see some uh, stuttering. I still don't know if you guys have any actual solution, please uh, let me know. I've tried everything, including the network on Ultimate and all of that. I promise, I've tried everything. Uh, Alright, so we have the... Uh, the remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, MAM. Uh, it seems like we have a couple of ores over here. Like, how many? Uh, there's a normal, a normal, and a... It's, it's a tri triple normal. That's pretty good. We can do our starting point over here, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so, as a beginning, we don't have anything. Oh, yeah, we have to... What is my... Uh, Kibines for building? Um... <laughs> what? Uh, let me find out what is my keybind. Ah. Fourth objective. There we go. Build the hub. Note: to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. So caution: ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain. All right, darling. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. So basically, she wants us to use this one that we salvage from from the other thingy, and. Uh, 
I wanna... Five. Wait, wait! I wanna do something with him. Oh, god damn it. Let me go up! There we go. Oh, it's too late. Oh, there's one of the green thingies that we can use for upgrading our machines and all of that. Uh, let's go grab that. I'm not sure I'm still trying to figure it out if those they respawn or not. Uh, some people on the stream the other day said that they do. Some of them they said they don't. So, I'm not really sure. I will try to remember th this semi slug seems to emit. I will try to remember this specific location. We don't need here. We we know the very basics, and you guys probably know already. Um, what I was going to say. Uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on that one and see if that if that one is gonna come back. Um, as for now, we have three ores over here, so let's go and mine them. And with the power of editing, you saw a couple of bam boom, and yeah, they are gone. We have three nodes, all of them normal. And uh, let's see our objective. It says uh, press Q to open up the building. Unfortunately, darling, that's not the Q, that's the E for me. We're gonna build up a hub. Okay, so if you have the three nodes over here, the hub, as you guys know or don't know, they have like the beginner generators. They have like two generators that we can use. So, uh, let's I guess put them for now kind of like here, here. We can always pick it up if we if we want it. Wait, was it supposed to be? Congratulations, you have just unlocked this? hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective: complete hub upgrade one. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. So we need to upgrade this? Uh, parts can be crafted at the craft bench. Upgrade and the... Okay. Yes. Okay, so this is our crafting and this is our tier zero. Uh, the hub upgrades. So we can... Okay, so we need rods. We need to actually get the rods to begin with. All right. Uh, I think he, she wants us to just craft it, right, manually. So let's do that real quick. I didn't see, I think it's 10 of them. I'm not sure. So basically we get the ores, you make them into ingots in our hands. Who needs furnace? As long as you have your beautiful hands. Yep. Yep. Come over here. I actually haven't done the tier zeros. So that's going to be interesting. And go. Drop that inside there and launch the hub. Okay. That's beautiful. That's our first upgrade. Congratulations. You have unlocked building workshop. Equipment portable miner. Inventory additional slots. Hub feature personal storage. A lot of things, huh? Sixth objective. Complete hub upgrade to note. Portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, portable. multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Got it. Alright, so what did, what did we exactly upgrade? We got the equipment workshop. All of this, we upgraded it. Oh no, that's the equ equipment workshop. I believe on the experimental is an external building that you have to build. So, if we get another five rods, we're going to be able to build this one. And uh, you guys gonna see what we're gonna be able to do. On this crafting table, we just convert the normal uh, ores into ingots and whatever um, resources. This is just for resources, while the equipment allows us to do some other additional things. Also, we have... Uh, let's put this over there that we're not gonna really use. Keep the resources. Uh, also, we got the portable miners and uh, one inventory or three inventory slots in my inventory. That's beautiful. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go obviously and use the portable mines. Let's not waste any time. Uh, we're gonna try and utilize every single. Th Wait, you're not supposed to get for free. Oh no! You have to make them. Oh no! Okay, so we need to craft a couple of rods. So we can make the uh, work workshop what, thingy. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
and craft some portable miners that they required no power. Oh, we need plates as well. Right. Let's get some plates. I believe five of them. During our playthrough, guys, I'm gonna be vaping, so... Uh, I don't know what you feel about vaping, but it's something that, uh, you know, keeps me away from smoking. Okay? So that's pretty much it. I don't, do not recommend vaping or smoking. It's terrible. It's an addiction. It is. Um, Alright, there we go. We have the portable miner. There we go. Um, I think we're gonna begin by getting like three. I think it's gonna help us out at the very, very beginning. So let's go set this up over there. Oink. They require no power. They're gonna be able to just mine by this themselves. They have a a storage capacity. Oh, you know what? I might be alright with one for now. Um, yeah, I think so. Let's see what we need for the second upgrade. We're gonna be able to get the smelters, a power line, copper wires, cables, and a scanner. Uh, as for this one, we already utilized all of them. We made the portable mines. Beautiful. So basically, what he wants us to get 20 rods and 10 plates. 20 rods, 10 plates. Alrighty, let's get that one. Alright, there we go. Let's equip our. Bzz, bzz. The bzz, bzz. And. Oh no, that's not where we need to be. And. Yes! Get the hub upgrade number two! Launch! Got it! Oh boy! This bad boy is ready to go. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. All right, we, do, we don't need here, really. So this is our generator. Uh, it comes with the hub. Uh, it's just one for now, but I believe if we continue upgrading it, it's going to give us another one. So... Let's utilize everything that we got from this upgrade. Also, this is pretty empty. Wow. I've never seen it empty. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be fun. Uh, so, we beginning with a smelter. But do we have a miner? I still didn't see. We don't have a miner, but we do have a smelter. In this case, uh, let's... Put some miners. No, we need copper as well. Uh, uh, why, why do you get a smelter and a power before a miner? Ah, all right. So we need to use this and find copper nearby. There we go. I think I'm going to keep them for now at the very beginning. Um, the, the baby steps, we're going to leave them individually. So every processing is going to happen within uh, the ore. And then we will see what we're going to do with that. I think it's the, it's the best thing that we can do right now. There we go. So it seems like the ore is over here. Hopefully it's a normal one. And it is! Yes! I see you! I see you! So if you hit them in the face, they kind of like stun lock. So that's an easy way to... To kill them. They need four hits with the basic thingy, so... That did it. Alright, we have the copper over here as well. Uh, and where is our mines? I barely can see. Holy shit. Uh, if they are over there. We are over here. Alright, let's get some... Let's get some mining going. I'm gonna get some ores in my hand and I will be back in a split of a second for you. Alright, I think that's enough. We got about 78 ores. I think that's pretty good. Let's, let's go back and get this processing we're gonna get some wires and we will see i think we're gonna put a smelter uh 
uh, because it's a normal node, you have to do some calculations. As for now, we don't have any splitters, we don't have any, you know, the more advanced things. So, we're going to put one smelter for each one of these. So, three over here and one over there. So, we need to gather resources for four smelters. That's going to be lovely. How much we need? Four. We need 32 wires, so we need to process the copper. Alright, so we got enough of wires, and now we need to do what else? What else do we need, darling? 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 No, 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 I just want to see. Uh, we need rods. Uh, calculation of 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, multiple by 5, that's 20. We need 20 rods. Easy. There we go, we are making the last rods. Uh, I'm not going to force you to watch me mining and, and doing things... Uh, one by one, it's just gonna make the videos bigger and I'm trying to goddamn avoid that for sure Um, yeah, let's put the food back over here Uh, go there, go there If you use the control and click, it puts all the stacks So basically, if you have like a lot of stacks, let's say uh, We can split with the right click, split And you, you can just click once, right? And with the control and click all of the stack goes back over there. Easy. Easy. If you didn't know this little trick, now you do. Ah, uh, smelters. Alright, let's find out. So, one ore is over there. We're gonna rotate the input and output. There we go. We're gonna come over here. Yeah, let's get the ores from this one. Take all. And I don't think that I really need you anymore. I think so. So let's throw another one. About. Uh, can I. Alright, let's align it with the other one. I don't know. Yeah. Should be good. As like al alignments, like putting them in, in a line. I uh, believe the keybinds, for, at least for me, it's C. I don't know what is going to be the keybind for you if you guys play the game for the first time. So check your keybinds. Um. You cannot really align things together if you don't have foundations. You you can, but you cannot. I'd rather not really bother a lot with putting them in a straight line and making them look so good. You know, I'm trying to avoid that, at least for now. Until we get the foundations. Once we get the foundations, we remove everything and we make it look very pretty. So, uh, we have the smelters over here. I'm double thinking if I should have uh, if, if it's a good idea removing this one uh, let's leave it over there for now uh, obviously we're gonna need to power this using the power lines that we unlocked let's see what was on the next it was smelter so we need to put another one smelter up there let's run over there on the copper if you sprint and slide and then jump. It's like you do a, a power jump or something. You go, you launch yourself so, so, so far. It's amazing. All right. And for you, I think we're going to use the space over here. Makes a little bit more sense. Put the furnace. Yep. And boom. Once we get like a not to miner or whatever. We're gonna make that work. You're gonna make copper, and we're gonna put the copper ore inside of you. Oh, boy. Wait, no, I'm gonna need the copper so I can make more wires, so I can connect all of this. What am I doing? See? Alright, alright, so we made ourselves back into the, into the base. Uh, we have one miner over here. We don't have another one for the copper. I don't think we really need it right now, but if we... If we need it, I guess we're gonna make one. Um, yes, we need power lines. There we go. Uh, so we can uh, power line, but we cannot really power line, put poles around. <clears throat> okay, with that being said then, uh, I'm curious to see something. What if I connect this? We need cable. Cable, cable, cable. There we go. I'm very curious to see if you can connect them like this with this. Oh, no, you cannot. I was like, what if I can connect them 
together uh, you cannot really do that so the only option that we have is clip through the walls and all of that something that uh, I really do not like you cannot connect more lines to this oh wow really so we can only do one connection Ah, uh, okay, okay, so if this is the case, because I know you can do three, but as for now, it seems like you can do only one. Remember, the baby step. So, let's connect this with this. Uh, we can put the wood. Yeah, but obviously, it's uh, pretty terrible. Um, let's go gather a few of these, just so we have the generator working. And uh, we will be back in a second. All right, we are back with the leaves. We are ready to go. I'm going to put like 500 on them. That's going to give it enough power for this to work for a while. Uh, we want you to do iron ingots. And I'm going to put a stack on you. So I don't need to manually go and make the ingots at least. That's our first optimization. With that being said, I do not believe that there is anything else in the hub upgrade too that we can do right now, which is cables, ores, lines, yeah. We utilize everything that we could because this one has only one power line. So we're going to leave the episode over here because I don't want them to be too big. I promise on the next episode it's going to be full of content and obviously we're going to go through the upgrades a little bit faster. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you put a, a big thumbs up into my youtube in, in, into the video and I, I really 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 hope you guys are gonna like it um again this is the first time that i'm doing it and as as we do it more and more i'm probably gonna improve so thanks for watching i'm gonna see you again on the next episode